We have been studying energy recently in class, but the type of energy we've been focusing on is energy in the form of heat. We're now going to shift our focus to a different kind of energy, light. So we're going to look at something called the electromagnetic spectrum today. And when you look at the image of the electromagnetic spectrum down below, it shows different types of energy that you might be familiar with. And we're going to look at those various types of energy and what they have to do with electrons. So <clears throat> the electromagnetic spectrum shows you different types of energy, different types of radiation over a range of wavelengths. So if you look along the left-hand side of this graphic, you'll see that it gives you wavelengths up here. It has nanometers. Uh, eventually, it gets into centimeters, meters, kilometers, and then megameters down below. What they're measuring when they measure wavelength, if I were to draw a quick wave for you guys, something like this. What they do is they pick one spot on a graph, on a, on a wave here, and what's typically measured is either from what they call trough to trough, or they measure this distance that you might see this little symbol here to represent wavelength. Um, they might measure trough to trough, or they might measure what they call crest to crest. So one, the top of one wave to the bottom of another, uh, top to top, right? That wavelength, that distance from peak to peak or trough to trough there, they call that a wavelength. So if the waves on the top of this graph uh, have very small wavelengths, nanometers, what that means is, is that their waves look something like this, that the waves are very tightly packed together and then by the time you get to the bottom with really long wavelengths, they look something like this. So when you're looking at the different types of energy that are associated in this electromagnetic spectrum, um, some two extremes there, radio waves at the bottom, and then you might not be familiar rays with gamma rays, but you're familiar with X-rays. Um, the things at the top of our electromagnetic spectrum are high energy. When you go to the dentist and they need to do an x-ray of your teeth, they have you wear that special little apron um, to protect your body from being exposed to unnecessary radiation. And then when you get to the bottom, these uh, waves are low energy you're not worried about being exposed to radiation when you turn on the radio uh, in your car, right? When you look at um, this visible light portion, this little part in the center is expanded out to the right-hand side that you see there. So all that violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, red all squeezes into that little narrow visible light band. Um, but what our, our violet ones look like are really uh, short wavelength, high energy. Our red at the bottom are really long, lower energy waves. And then all those colors somewhere in between, like if I did green, for example, um, they're somewhere in the middle, 